Hey guys, how's it going? Um, had a gentleman ask me in the comments of my last video um, how to put the uh, the battery voltage display up here on this red bar. Um, I've removed mine right now so I can show you, but um, not real hard. A um, couple of things I did first, actually when I first got the radio, was uh, you want to go in, I'm running 18650s by the way, so we go into system. And make sure you get your battery meter range set correctly. And for 18650s, that's going to be 6.0 to 8.4 volts. Um, so that's what you want to set that at. And then if you scroll down, you'll see alarms. I set mine at 6.6 .6 volts. I think that's a pretty good little bit of leeway there for you. So, scroll back up here. So, yeah, make sure you do that. And then, um, you're going to want to calibrate your batteries. So, what I did was take them fresh off the charger. So, I know they're full. 8.4. You go into system. And you hold down the page. That'll take you there. Hold it down one more time. And you get to the calibration page you want to scroll all the way down and then go up here to where you see battery calibration again this is with a brand new batteries fresh out of the charger and you want to set that to 8.4 and that's all I did there I, uh, it's working okay for me so hopefully it works out for you too now let's back out of here so in order to set up your widgets, you're going to go and hold down the telemetry button. You're going to hold down page until you come to this screen here. And you're going to want to scroll down here to setup, top bar setup. And then you can scroll through these, these here. And the one that's selected is the one with the solid lines around it. <clears throat> so click. And that will bring up this. Now you can scroll through this. Until you see value. You want to click on that. And right here is where you want to choose your source. Right there you see it says rudder. But we're going to scroll all the way over here. And we're going to back up until we see bat. And you choose bat. You want to throw a shadow on it, you can. I like to do that and it just makes it look a little bit better. And we're going to back out of here. And that should be all you have to do right there. As long as you've calibrated your battery first, it should match up. I've had my battery in for a little while, so it's down a little bit. But uh, and then if you scroll out of here, that's what it looks like. Now there's another way that you can do this also. So I'll show you that as well. Um, if you go into your telemetry again, hold down page, scroll down, top bar setup again. You want to choose your next one over here. Well, I imagine you'll only have one, but um, you want to click it. You see there it says gauge. That's what we had before. So we're going to scroll over. No, I'm sorry. We're going to go back. We're going to use gauge. Gauge. I already did the other one. <clears throat> we're going to click it. And again, we're going to click. We're going to scroll all the way over. Back up a little bit here until we find battery. Now, this is important right here. For me, this is how I did it, and it seems to be working fine. You want to set your min to zero. Take a minute. Set it to zero. And you want to set the max to 100. That way it'll read it right. Right. 
and then you want to just click out of here keep clicking out till you get right back to your page and there you go so there's two different ways you can do it you can have your numeric value or you can show the bar um, I hope this helps you guys out um, if there's anything else I uh, I can think of I'll make another video here like I said I'm still new to this open TX and I'm learning right along with everybody else so thanks a lot guys I'll see you next time bye